Hi creeps and creepettes and creep Suzettes. Uh, it's time once again for Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's affordably priced mask recommendations. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am Henry the Eighth, I am I am, and we've got a Jim Dandy one for you tonight. You know what? How did that get started? Jim Dandy? What is where did that originate? What does that even mean? Jim Dandy? Why not? How come nobody ever says Bob Dandy or Frank Dandy or Phil Dandy. I don't know. I guess Jim uh, drew the short straw on that one. But tonight, I'd like to point out for your viewing edification and horrification, the Don Post Traditional Werewolf. That's right, it's just called Traditional Werewolf. And uh, well, as you can see, or I hope as you can see anyway, he looks a lot like Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman in the classic Universal movies of the 40s okay and specifically he looks a heck of a lot like the famous uh, Don Post mask that is now called uh, Wolfman B he looks a lot like Wolfman B uh, he's nowhere near as costly as Wolfman B which now goes for okay I'm not even gonna say a lot of money let's just say that this guy sells for around $45 very very reasonable indeed it's a full head latex mask you see the back there comes all the way down to the back has the slit up the back so you can put it on and take it off relatively easily and normally I'm not a big fan of this uh, plastic kind of hair uh, the synthetic hair that they use on this one but you know in this case it really works and just to give you an idea of why I'm okay with it in this case if you want it sort of uh, flattened down like the Wolfman looked in the days of the older masks or like the Wolfman B it's pretty much willing to do that or if you want it to look more uh, wild and crazy and deranged you can sort of uh, fluff it up with your hands and pick at it a little and it'll give you a more wild and untamed thing effect just by messing with the hair and um, let's mess it up a little further even shall we look at that man oh man uh, now the interesting thing about old uh, traditional werewolf as he is called is he first started life back in 1996 in a different edition that was called simply Full Moon. Now the mask called Full Moon was this same sculpture, this same basic design, but it did not have any glued on hair. It just had sculpted hair, or as more people uh, seem to prefer calling it, molded hair rather than actual hair. And uh, the other major difference was Full Moon had uh, painted in eyes. The eyes were not trimmed out. They were painted uh, white with a little little narrow slit pupil in the center sort of like a cat's eye and then the wearer of the mask would see out of slots that were cut out above the eyelid and below the brow so this area was trimmed out and the eye was not and he had the cat eyes when he was full moon and then they changed that and cut the eyes actually out in a more traditional mask style the eye holes were cut out the normal way for the version which came along later called traditional werewolf. Now the full moon version was available for a few years. Again, that one came out in 96 and was available for several Halloween seasons after that. This guy came along sometime later. He's, uh, I would say, uh, late 00s was when uh, he came out. Now, uh, once again, easy to store these masks. I've just uh, stuffed this one with those uh, plastic shopping bags I like because they're nice and soft and they're willing to conform to any shape you stuff them into and remain in that shape and because they are so soft they don't have uh, the tendency to form corners or sharp or sharp pointy areas or anything like that uh, they just stay nice and soft and they don't distort any part of the mask if it's a thinner pore uh, now in case of this one it's not that bad a pore it's a pretty good casting especially uh, for something in the $45 range and especially for something that has a classic old school vibe kind of a retro look to it like uh, the classic wolfman and I think every collection especially if you ever actually wear your masks uh, because a lot of the more expensive wolfman masks they're kind of uh, they're either they're too thick or they're too small or they're too just too expensive and too detailed to wear this guy very affordable and very wearable uh, again the slit up the back the eyes trimmed out nicely nostrils and uh, breathing uh, uh, opening there above the teeth so uh, you could look like a classic wolfman with this one 
great for any uh, Halloween event or haunted house or Halloween party or what have you. And uh, by the way, with uh, this uh, bag stuffing business, I tend to get my shopping bags at uh, two places mainly, either uh, Walmart, yeah I know, Walmart or Kroger. Uh, and and plastic bags from, from chain stores like that tend to have the name of the store printed on the bags. Um, now you may want to keep this in mind when you, when you stuff your, your masks for storage or display or any extended period of time with the bag, you're going to want to turn the outermost bag in any wad of bags inside out because that way the ink that's printed on the bag is on the inside because if you if you put it inside your mask um, just right side out rather than inside out uh, you may find that the ink from the bag comes off and sticks to the inside of the mask so depending on whether you got your plastic mask stuffer bags at either Walmart or Kroger's you could end up with uh, whoever puts on the mask as they're pulling it on seeing uh, uh, Tramlaw or Regork printed on the inside of the mask and that would be very distracting and they wouldn't know what it meant uh, they, they would say what is that? Is that Russian or Polish or what is that uh, what is Regork and see they'd be confused and then the people they were going to scare have already walked by and they missed the opportunity. So you don't want that. So stuff those um, masks with the plastic bags, but turn the outermost one inside out to avoid getting ink on the inside of your nice mask. And that's your recommendation for this week, the Dom Post Traditional Werewolf. And we'll see you here again next time in the Library of Horror Hotel. Thank you.